loosen these two adjusting screws and you can see the gap between the flywheel and the coil. What we want to do is have the thickness of a business card or an index card right there. And then I just tighten it down. Okay. And your coil's set properly. And I want to make sure that everything operates smoothly. If you run your lawnmower and you find that it uh, shuts off after a few, maybe half hour, 20, 40 minutes, your coil has heated up and that's a sign that and, and shuts off, that's a sign that your coil is bad, you know, and you got to let the lawnmower cool down and then it'll run fine again. You have to re replace your coil. And again, that's simple. Um, I should have probably showed you that before I set it. But just loosen these two up, these two holding screws. And disconnect your grounding and replace this. Your lawnmower shop will be able to um, get you your part. By the way, now we're talking about motor parts, and when you do that, your parts number is right here on the housing. Give them this. I'll tell you your model type and code. If you give this whole number, they'll be able to get you any part off of the physical motor. This number on the back was for anything pertaining to the chassis. It would be the handles, the wheels, anything to the deck itself. Okay, let's put this back together. Make sure that we get the weather vane hooked up. Card or our business card back in place to create that proper air space. Push the whole thing back. Bang it down. Alright. Coil's been either replaced or we have a proper air space now. The last thing, it could be a bad spark plug, simply enough and or the gap is wrong. It's a 30 thousandths gap. And then the last thing in the electrical system besides the brake, the coil, would be physically the spark plug. And they can go bad, they do go bad. Um, it's For this particular size motor it's 30 thousandths, check your book for your size, but you look for the 30 thousandths and what you want to do is be able to get that in there. Can you see what I'm doing? You just want it snug in between the two. Okay? If it needs to be adjusted up or down, use the tool itself. This would pry it up, this would pry it down, and then just reinstall. A lot of people, make sure that you have your, your ring on this, a lot of people put their spark plug in. Actually, a lot of people bring me their lawnmower that has the wrong plug in it altogether. For example, if this plug, most of these are J19LM or a generic of that type. See how the neck is short? If it's long, it's meant for an overhead valve. A lot of times people have put it in wrong, the wrong size plug, and I'll see that's been banged up by the piston. Usually it doesn't put a hole in it or anything like that. It's just the wrong plug that's also causing a problem. So check to make sure it's got the right plug, the right gap, the coil's set properly, the brake's not shorting out, and you'll have spark.
cell there too. And just replace the housing. Make sure that's in the, the hole. And put your three bolts back in place.